Hello, everybody. Welcome back to TonySpaces.com. Time for our NHL rundown here from Steve Duncan. We'll get picks from all eight games on this Monday card. Of course, you can get Steve's screen picks over at TonySpaces.com. Enjoy a really good year in the NBA over the past 30 days, which is 1,850 units of profit. Let's bring Steve in right now. We're going to roll here with the NHL. Steve, what's happening? Uh, like you said, NBA is going fantastic for sure. We're doing really well on that. Didn't have a single pick in the NBA today because that last game of the season, I didn't even bother with it. But you want to get in for the playoffs, man. Like, look, I'm up 1850. I think I'm top of the page on NBA. It's not going to stop when, it, when, it, when the playoffs go. In fact, I think it'll even get better. Playoffs are my main money. So head over to Tony's Picks. Look me up. Get in on some long-term pass pa packages so you can make some money in the NBA and in the NHL. I have not been read in the NHL for six years now. In when it comes to uh, playoffs, um, I rock at it. So might as well take the full package. Get over there, get the long-term packages, and uh, let's make some money and have some fun. That's right. All Come right. On. Let's get into right. this. Let's okay. do it. Let's get on board here, guys. Click the link in the description to get Steve's long-term passes. Let's get underway here with our rundown here from the NHL. We begin here with Petters and Penguins. Penguins at our 30, a total of six. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm probably going to have a pick on the side here tomorrow. Um, I got to look at some... Something tells me Nashville at the end of the season, they do really well on the road uh, when they're finishing up. And they they have a tendency to kill teams that are trying to get in. But I, I need to see the analytics on that. One thing I do know is I think this will be tight no matter what. I don't think the Predators are going to give this up easy. I don't think the Penguins are having a difficult time scoring as it is. So I'm going to go under six for sure. And uh, we'll see what the side looks like tomorrow. All right, Steve Duncan, get his pain plays over at Tony Space. So click the link in the description. Predators and Penguins, the pick here will be under a total of six goals. All right, let's continue here on our NHL right now, guys. Use that promo code Tony T at checkout. You'll save 20% off. All right, next uh, game here on our on the board for a Monday will be Islanders and Devils. We see the Islanders dollar twelve total of six. Um, I, 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 this is, I normally would never go against a team that are playing the final game in their home building after a losing season. I normally would never do that. But the way the Islanders are playing right now with their aggressive offensive system that they have with Patrick Waugh and how much is on the line here. I don't think the Devils are going to be able to keep up to the aggression that they're going to put out. I'm going to take the Islanders. But on the same note, I think the Devils will wake up eventually and start potting a couple of their own. This feels like a 4-3, like 5-3 three, three Islanders win, which is a very rare thing for them to do. But they're in a situation where if the pace is slow, they'll win. If the pace is fast, they have no choice but to win, and they will put all their freaking blood, sweat, and tears in this game and probably pull it out, especially with the uh, goaltending disadvantage, as the Devils are probably putting Allen in. He's really not all that good. So I'm going to take the Islanders and hold it. Right. Steve Duckin. Uh, click the link below for his best bets, Islanders and Devils. The pick here, Islanders, minus 112, and over total of six goals. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. Let's get ready here for the next game on the board. Bruins and Capitals. Bruins, $1.55. Total sits at five and a half. Well, the thing about here is I just don't know if the Bruins are going to really care about winning this game. I, I said that the last game, and they ended up winning it, though. But... The Capitals at home, it's uh, it's like their last ditch to make the playoffs right now. I think they're going to come completely correct here. And I'm not sure the Bruins are going to want to fight that hard, as hard as the Capitals are going to want to fight 
in this game. Lindgren has been playing absolutely fantastic. I imagine it'll be Swayman. Swayman has been like kind of iffy lately. So I'm going to take the Capitals at plus money and uh, hope that they uh, come correct like I think they're going to in this one. It's a little iffy if that happens with the Capitals, but this is a huge game for them. I think they're going to come hard. All right, Steve Duckin here with Bruins Capitals. Pick your Capitals plus 130. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. We'll get you a pick from every game on this eight-game card. The next one here on the board will be Sabres and Lightning. Uh, we see the uh, Lightning here at home, dollar seventy total of six. Well, maybe the Lightning want to, like, try to play playoff hockey against the Sabres and shut them down, but... I think the Sabres are going to come out hard here. you got a bunch of young players on the Sabres. You're going to go up against some of the legends of the game. And uh, it's like pretty much the end of the year. So you got Stamkos, you got Hedman, you got uh, Leck. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a big, big game for the Sabres if they want it to be. If they want to actually care. If they want to put a stamp on their season and say, hey, you know what? At least we beat the Lightning. And they could. But if they do, they're not going to shut them down. There's no way. So I'm banking that the Sabres are going to come out hard to come out pure offense in this game. And the Lightning are going to go back at them at home in front of their fans and eventually pull it out, maybe. It's going to be tough. I, I, the side is actually pretty difficult here. But for a six, you're giving me a six for two teams that really don't need to beat each other? Yeah, I'll go over the six. All right, Steve Duncan here on Sabres Lightning. Over a total of six goals. All right, guys, be sure to click the link below for Steve's best bets and the promo code Tony Chi at checkout. We'll save you 20% off all these premium pick patches. Let's continue here on our NHL rundown as we get ready for the next game on the board. Canadians and Red Wings. Red Wings 205, total six and a half. Uh, the Red Wings definitely need this more than the Canadians do. Um, I kind of wonder if the Canadians even want to win this game, but St. Louis usually has them playing with pride. But I think when it comes right down to it here, this is the finale for the Red Wings. This is everything for the Red Wings. Canadians will probably come out hard, but they don't have the heart, I don't think, in this game for the reason where they need to beat the Red Wings enough, where the Red Wings need to beat the Canadians. Canadians have a weak defense. Goaltending, I don't know who's going to be in here. It's probably going to be Moulton Bowl. Um, I just think the Red Wings are going to give their whole guts out to this game. And any time any team is able to do that against Canadians, they're likely going to win. So I'm going to take Red Wings in regulation at minus 125. All right, Steve Duncan here with Canadians and Red Wings. It's Red Wings in regulation minus the 125. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. Pick from every game on this eight-game card. Next up. Senators, Rangers, Rangers 238, total of six. Ain't nobody care about who wins this game. Rangers don't care. Senators don't care. But the Senators are going into New York. And this is the difficult thing about being in New York, being one of the big name teams, big money teams, you know, hot, big market teams is when – Players come, teams come into your building. They want to do some shit. They, this is a huge thing. The Toronto has the same problem. Every time anybody wants goes into Toronto, they want to show up Toronto because they're such a huge market and considered, you know, like the center of the universe. And a lot of the players are from that area. Here, the Senators. They have no reason but to just come balls out here. The energy is going to be insane. I think this is going to be a fun game to watch. I think there's going to be power plays. I would hope so. 
Um, if it's not, I actually kind of worry about the Rangers going into the playoffs. They should come out correct here. They should come out getting their energy up to get themselves into that playoff mode. If they don't, and I don't do this too often, if the Rangers come out shit in the bed in this game, I'm fading them in the first round. I'm fading them. You've got to be coming correct here because you know the Senators are going to be, and you know you have to have your energy up going into the to the playoffs. You know you need to be better than you've been. So if the Rangers screw up here, I'm fading them in the first round. <laughs> Weird. Senators versus Rangers is going to be the prediction for me or is going to be the dictator for me of who I think is going to win in the first round. I think they come correct. Laviolette's a great coach, and this will be a high-scoring game. I'm taking over six. There we go. Uh, centers and Rangers. Steve says here, over total of six goals. All right, let's continue on here on our NHL right now. We'll get you a pick from all eight games on this card. Next up, Sharks and Oilers. Oilers 440, total five and a half. Um. Is, is, this is over five and a half, uh, I would think. Unless the Sharks, unless the Oilers just don't give a flying F about this game. That's the only way I could see that this goes under five and a half. Um, they, they just shit the bet against Vancouver, too. Like, you, now you're coming home and you're playing in front of your fans against the worst team in the league, and you're just going to shit the bed? That would be horrible. So I'm taking over, and I'm going to take the Oilers' first period puck line. After having that bad game against Vancouver, I would have to imagine they come out here and try to get ahead right away. The only thing that makes me wonder about the over here is the Oilers get up like 2 3 nothing, and then just shut it down. But... Honestly, I think it's going to be Pickard in that the Sharks are going to be what any young player for the Sharks right now, they're going up against McDavid. They're going up against the legends here. They're going to be coming correct. They need to get uh, a, a, a contracts for next year and all that kind of stuff like that. I think this is going to be a high pace game. I'll take the over five and a half for sure. I'll take uh, Oilers. First period puck line at minus 0.5. And I may have more tomorrow, but that's what I got for now. Yeah, well, those aren't the kings. They don't have short legs and sit on them. They don't almost blow them. <laughs> All right, uh, Sharks, and the, uh, Sharks and the Oilers here. The pick will be over six, and Oilers first period puck line laid at half at minus the 110. All right, Is it a six now? I got 5.5. Yeah, five and a half. Yeah, five. Well, it's just, it, just, it just came down. Uh, this is our live, so it just came down to five and a half. So oh, it just came down. Just to came five down. And it's half? juiced up. Yeah, five and a half. So you get five. Shop do your line shop. There's five and a half. How, so, are, uh, how are people betting this? Okay, never mind. I can't say that because it's probably I'm seeing forty cents. I, I'm seeing five and a half over thirty-five and over forty cents in some places. So there's a lot of juice on that five and a half. All right, and of course, yeah. first period puck yeah. line laid a half goal at minus the one ten. All right, let's continue here on our. NHL rundown here for the games on Monday. Eight-game card. We continue with Wild and Kings here. Uh, this one will close out the slate. We see the Kings dollar seventy total five and a half. Now I'm taking it over here. Um, I don't really like to take the Kings over, but the Wild have been playing over for a while now, and the Kings are at home. Why do they want to shut down the wall? This is the way I look at things sometimes. I know the Kings are a good defensive team, but you've been practicing that all year long. Why do you want to like beat yourself up to shut down the wild here? It's all in the motivation. I know the Kings can shut down teams. They're a good defensive team, but it's far more physical and far more effort to shut down a team than it is to just go out and outscore them. And the Wild shouldn't scare them at all, really, offensively now. They have a lot of players out. Uh, they're 
pretty much out of it. So I'll take the Kings in regulation and I'll go over five and a half. I think the Wild will probably pot a couple. I'm still not a fan of uh, the Kings goaltending, regardless of who they put in there. And I, I, I think it might be Riddich here. Imagine, my friend, my dear friend Tony, <laughs> you are going into the playoffs and your best goaltender is Riddich. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness for the oh, Sharks, the Kraken, and, and all the bad teams that they can they can beat. Ducks. <laughs> they got a big yeah, boost exactly. from the mediocrity in the West. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Big boost. Uh, yeah, it's going to show I off feel the for you, dude. <laughs> I know. I, feel for I you, know. It's been, it's been a struggle uh, this year. So Kings, Kings in regulation just to finish her off. And they'll, probably, they'll, they'll probably be scoring back and forth in this game. Kings know. in regulation, minus 115, and over the total here of uh, five and a half goals. All right, we got through here this NHL rundown, the eight-game card here for you here on Monday. The last week of the regular season because we get in the playoffs on Saturday, so we're not too far away with playoff yeah. hockey coming up, so looking forward to all that. Yeah. You know, and, of course, we Can will have win. some – we will have some non. We will have some days uh, with uh, no games on the schedule, but Steve will come in with some uh, playoff props. So days, stay tuned for that. So if, there, yeah. if you don't, if you don't see a game on the schedule, still get these. Still keep an eye for the for the picks because Steve will have some prop videos before you prop picks for the playoffs. All right, uh, let's take a look over at Tony'sPicks.com. We got through this uh, eight game rundown. Steve enjoyed a great year in the NBA, 1,850 units of profit. Of course, the NBA playoffs coming up on, we begin with the playing rounds on Tuesday. Not a lot of not a lot of rest after the regular season. We're ready to roll here. So, uh, well, these teams that didn't are in the play-on game, they don't deserve rest. They should have, they should, they should have put up, had a better season. But anyway, uh, we got big card, 15-game card from baseball. So baseball gives us a 15-game card. We got this action on the ice. We have going on over at Tony's Picks. Yeah, definitely get into the monthly or whatever. Like when we're talking playoffs, you're making nothing but money if you're taking my picks on the NHL. I crush NHL. And yes, there's going to be some days off, but I'm going to do some futures. I'm going to start picking series winners and who's going to win the cup and uh, who's going to win the West, who's going to win the East, all of those sort of things like that. And you'll make some money at that. Some of the things I had from the beginning of the year, I had, and it's not going to happen, but it was still pretty impressive. I took the Flyers to make the playoffs at the beginning of the year, even though they're probably not going to do it. It was still a pretty impressive pick. Um, I also had uh, Pittsburgh to make the playoffs, so I'm hoping that Pittsburgh gets in there on that one. Um, I had, I, I think I hit about, 3,500 units on futures from the beginning on player props on who's going to make the playoffs on who's going to uh, we'll find out about the con Smythe I had Kucherov to win and he should win but everybody's saying you know I, I think he should win no doubt about it I, 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 had, I had not con Smythe but the heart I mean I had Kucherov to win the heart, and he might just do it. So my futures are really good. You want to get in there? You want to get my monthly? You want to get my monthly? You're not going to lose money. It's an investment that uh, you can't find anywhere else. So get in there and get on it. And if it's not me, look at other cappers. Because Tony's Picks has some of the best cappers in North America. And uh, you will not lose money. It's it's incredible investment. I hope if you're out there and you got some money in your pocket and you want to invest in something, this is what you do. We're not gambling here. We're making money. That's right, guys. Get over with Steve Duncan over at TonySpeaks.com. Great results, as you can see here in the NBA. Last three days, 1800 and 50 units of profit. Click the link in the description. Land right on Steve's handy hair pages where you can get the long-term passes. One month pass will get you all of these premium plays. Uh, of course, the NHL playoffs here coming up uh, on Saturday, so you get a good three weeks of playoffs with that, and or as well as the end of the regular season NBA playoffs here for a month as the playing round begins Tuesday tomorrow. So we're <laughs> right at it right away, guys. With two games there, uh, to, um, we don't waste any time there, guys. We're ready to roll. Baseball is also in play, and of course, we'll save you some money 
When you use that promo code Tony T at checkout, you'll save 20% off. You can access Steve's page. Just click the link in the description to land on his page and go ahead and get signed up. All right, as always, uh, Steve, great having you on the show. Continue your success. We'll catch up with you again tomorrow. Yeah. Enjoy the games, everybody. Yeah, for Steve, I'm Tony T. We'll talk to you tomorrow.